one fox down. This is a bit of a video with a difference. Currently out um, helping remove rabbits from a property out here and foxes as well. So I thought I'd just take some video just to show some of the equipment that we're using. This is an image through a thermal monocular which we use to try to find rabbits and foxes. And as you can see, there's a kangaroo enjoying a feast on the crop out on the other side of that fence. Now, tonight being tonight, it's a clear sky. I think it's about six degrees at the time of this shooting. And you can see there's not a rabbit to be seen. It seems to be the colder it gets, the clearer the night, the damp air comes in and they seem to go to ground. Looking back out over the, the river towards the neighbouring properties, you can see there's a black speck there in the paddock. That there is a rabbit. There's a couple of them out there. Um, a few black dots. A bit hard to pick amongst the rocks on the hill. The rocks are obviously holding some heat um, as well. The rabbits are actually darker when it comes to like a jet black colour on the screen. But it's actually a very clear night when it comes to the rabbits. So we are basically decided to more concentrate on trying to find the foxes and uh, grab whatever rabbits we can that, um, that we can get onto. But even this area here, back towards uh, the immediate neighbour's house behind the hill there where the gum trees are, um, has usually got a whole hand for the rabbits on this hill. But as you can see, it's just the rocks is all we're seeing. We're, we're not getting any rabbit heat signatures at all off of this hill and this is now looking back towards the front of the property back up the hill that we drive over to come in there's the track and uh, we'll come down to the the star or the beginning of the show she uh, has just had a conversation with the 223 and uh, it's good to remove them from the environment because they do a lot of damage Sheep are going to be released into this rear paddock we're operating at the moment, so it's good to get the foxes out of there. You can see there's a rabbit down there in the distance. That is out in the neighbour's crop. The problem is by the time we get out there, it's uh, actually that one wasn't on the neighbour's crop, but this is looking up between the two gum trees. This is where we've been seeing the foxes move through, and by the time we get out there, we just they just disappear. We just can't, we have been struggling to get onto them, so we're different plan of attack for tonight, which has already paid dividends. Um, I ended up after this, I ended up going back down there to get onto a few rabbits that we did see eventually, with no luck. Um, so, but then upon return, we've uh, made our way back out. There's actually a fork in the tracks down there, which is where we've sort of headed out to because while we're down the back trying to get the rabbits we've seen the the second fox and there's a kangaroo you can see it, it's really dark on the screen from its heat signature stands out like a sore thumb um, you need a permit to take them so it's it's quite safe at the moment enjoying a feed of the neighboring crop and then on the return as i said this is what we've seen looking back towards the front so unfortunately i'm a lot further away now from where I should have been, but this is about the same area of the first fox. I now have to drop the thermal and turn the gun sky the gun on. And as you can see, the the UV illuminator just isn't centered to the gun scope. So that as I zoom in at 14 times there, you can see I've just sent the shot that it's a very pixelated shot. A no, very pixelated picture, sorry. In the background you can hear the fox noise the fox whistle on my phone wasn't really doing much um, but right now i've seen that its head is still moving and it's trying to crawl away so i was injured so i have to reload and send a second shot splash it with the laser to get the range of 230 odd meters you can see the firing solution on the screen with the holdover it's got its head up send the bullet head drops job done uh, a good result for the night, two foxes down, uh, a big help for the, the farmer and the sheep they're going to be put out in the paddock.